Welcome to Late Night Chat with JT and Nico, episode 49. Booyah. What? Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, Nico. It's a very exciting episode, guys. Uh, we, uh, Although we were putting out a little bit late, but, uh, you know, we'll get into the story of how that came to be very, very soon here. But, uh, yeah, we have a new setup, guys. Um, you guys, yeah, you, can't, you probably can't see it anyways. Yeah, if you are watching on YouTube, um, the, these are new mics, yeah. and uh, we have a whole sounding board system, mixer, and all kind of behind the scenes that, you know, is, is kept out of the frame purposely here for you guys, so it's like, you Just know what so I mean? You know, nothing, to, uh, yeah, see all the chords. So to see all the chords <laughs> and all the fucking crazy setup. <laughs> crazy setup that's been driving Nico crazy yeah but uh but yeah this is the thing that we hinted at last episode um that we we planned on rolling out for quite some time now it's a new year new setup and uh you know we're gonna probably be fine-tuning the quality of our voices on this new uh mixer over the next you know little while so um if we sound a little bit off today just kind of you know um Stay tuned, just because, you know, we're still learning how to use the equipment ourselves, uh, so much so that it drove me crazy this past week. <laughs> you want me to tell you what happened? Because I have no yeah, problem, get into anybody. it, get into it. So, so Jay's going to get into the story of my mental breakdown last uh, last week. So uh, a little behind the scenes uh, before I, I, I hand it over to you here, Jay. I um, <laughs> we, uh, we purchased all the equipment just after Christmas, uh, or uh, Boxing Day to be specific. We, we moved forward with the purchase. And uh, over the next week when we were off, we started receiving all this stuff. So our first episode back, number 48, um, that we recorded, um, we hadn't uh, gotten everything as of yet. We were still waiting for our certain, certain pieces, the, yeah, right, the yeah. certain chords and stuff to show up. And we we're trying to learn how to do the setup before moving forward with the show. Um, and then last week, Jay had come over. I'll let him take it, take over now. To take, uh, came to basically record this episode that you're hearing today. We're recording it now a week later at this point, uh, almost, it's supposed right? supposed to be another early one, the last one. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah, well, anyways, and eight go on. hours later, and then eight hours, I didn't realize it was that long later, but uh, Nico went crazy. That's all <laughs> that I have to say, Nico went nuts. And when Nico gets to like this, you can't talk to him, everybody. You have to just let him do his thing and let him figure it out on his own because he's gonna do it you'll figure it out everyone's got Trust a method me. to he their re- madness he oh he does his research and that's what drives him crazy is that he fucking searches and searches and does all his fucking studying and watching videos and 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 instead of keeping it like as simple as he can he just fucking goes nuts <laughs> it's just his thing gotta and bite anybody, off a little bit more than i could chew you know i get always, i get really into something always that i'm, but, I'm in you know and, it, and it, it, you know it affects everything it affects the, his daily life it affects his uh everything you know um but my marital life yeah his, <laughs> yeah, his relationship yeah life, yeah you know i thought maybe after that night he would have been sleeping on the curb he would have had to invite him over and have uh put him in a room at, yeah at the place like, my, my girlfriend made a comment about that the next day because uh actually our, our <laughs> actual first recorded episode where it was like more of a test run just because of the timing of it was uh, our weekly wine comic time episode that went yeah. out on Monday. Um, that day, I had just figured out how to how to do it. Just before that, that afternoon, I was washing dishes, sliced my finger right open, fucking, you know, but, gashed it. And like, then you had a uh, moment because you know, euphoric or whatever. What do you call that? Euphoric moment or whatever. What you would call that when you have one of those. Epiphany. Epiphany. Yeah, really. euphoria is something else. But yeah, yeah I know. I knew what you were getting at. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. yeah. It, 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 actually, I cut myself after I figured it out, but it was just one of those things where, yeah, sometimes when you invest mm. so much time in something, you got to take a step back, you know what I mean? So, like, by the end of... Because before Jay came over, I was already working on the setup for about three hours, and then when Jay came over, certain things that I had already thought I had figured out um, weren't working all of a sudden. And yeah, then well, I was... Because we were switching over, and we were, we were trying to go back and see if we can use it on the laptop. Right. right? Instead of the... the, the the usual computer the usual I computer used, yeah, use. yeah. So it, it apparently it wasn't working at the first time, but it, that wasn't the problem. It was just the way it all, I guess, was set up. It, there was certain other right. things. So I had was, watched something which contradicted our setup, but so I was trying to do it exactly the same way. And to Jay's credit, Jay actually had pointed. I'm not to get into all the words and specifics, because you guys probably don't care or don't really know them. And even like us, we're just learning these things yeah. somewhat. Well, Jay has a little bit of a background with it. I don't as much. So like. 
Um, so Jay was trying to point out maybe something I should adjust on the on the mixer on the soundboard, um, which I was totally ignoring at the time because I was so fixated on the one thing. It was crazy. Yeah, and, and I didn't want to disturb him because he gets it, like I've already been. <laughs> As we've already talked halfway through the season here, or whatever you want to call this, we're, we're through the yes, season. Yes, we're at season we're, two right now. <laughs> yeah, season, almost at season two. Um, yeah, no, halfway through the uh, the cast and then stuff like that, we had that little bit of a, a thing there where you got to watch what you say when Nico gets in his zone because when he gets in his zone, he gets and he can snap really quick. <laughs> so I didn't want that. I was like, you know what? Everything was good. Everything was going good, but it wasn't because he was stressing out. He was getting hot, getting bothered. I kept telling him to take a step back. He wouldn't take a step back. Should have had some more alcohol, that's it, for sure. Yeah, exactly. That's another thing he was missing out on. And then, you know, it just didn't work out. And it was just, it, it, it uh, something very simple and and, and and then the next day i kind of came to it with fresh eyes i figured it out within like you know 15 minutes yeah. uh none of the stuff i kind of looked online about helped me but i just kind of started screwing well, around it did, with the board. It, did, it did help it me get to that conclusion to that point, and then understand right? yeah. what i did wrong once i got there yeah, yeah but it's definitely like eight or nine hours into it <laughs> a few know. hours with you a few hours before you came that day by the end of it i didn't even want to fucking record i just said to jay okay beat it i'm fucking so frustrated well, right now yeah I was, it too, cause it was look I, got, I was looking at the computer as much as you were and we were you know like trying to read your stuff that you were reading because you flip through things so quick as i the way i flip through music and songs and stuff like yeah, that you yeah. flip through uh uh what do you call it you flip through articles and art videos yeah and, and it's stuff like and that. it's annoying because you gotta actually sit there and you gotta read it I, i'm not a fastest reader as you are yeah maybe, so I, I can't go and skim through words but yeah, and my eyes were bothering me, so I had to go and leave that night. This guy comes down to the car, knocks on the window, because I guess they had gone to grab something to eat, and I didn't notice them leave, because it was fucking pouring out at that yeah. time, right? Yeah, I came out of the bedroom, burnt out, my girlfriend got yelled at for got yelled barking at, at her. Bit, yeah, yeah so, so, not you know, yelled they went, they at, went but kind of like calm yourself, you know? Yeah, but they went to go get something to eat, which is, you know, they probably, Christine was probably hungry, and that's it, right? She, you needed to do what you had to do. But when you came to the car, I didn't. Even, I was so out of it, I didn't even know it was him. I was still sitting there looking at videos and reading stuff on my phone, trying to figure stuff out, right? And, yeah, I I couldn't leave, too. I, I wanted to figure everything out, in a sense, too, like, and see yeah. what was going on between what we were looking at, what I was saying, and, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, once I get fixated on something, no, Jay like, pointed it out because Jay said, hey, you know, I tried to mention that one thing because part of the things that Jay was pointing out actually was the solution, but at the time I wasn't even hearing it. Not to kind of, you know what I mean? Like, no, uh, I'm not belittle to, you or not say no, your but opinion I wanted, matter. I wanted you to know what, what was going on because I, but you, you know, pointed it out you had to figure it out that way, like, you know what I mean? I like, you, you I had to get I to that conclusion, away, right? yeah. Like, because I, and I, I don't want to say I didn't I'm, even <laughs> want to go to the old, he didn't even want to go to the old setup. No, guys. I was done That's because I was like, was so I was like, fuck the old setup, we're on to the next setup, the old one, yeah, two seconds and we could have did our cast, but it was already eight hours, like I said, I couldn't believe. So, this is why it's a day or two, uh, uh, late by the time you're yeah, hearing this but hopefully um, the quality and everything is yeah. sounding better and this to be honest the whole like all the shows over it, right? uh, the last week as we've come back from the new year even though we took that break have been a little off i think by a day or so uh trade talk didn't even come out this week yeah. for the first time ever actually it's called uh, the off year yeah <laughs> maybe so, that's what we'll call it the new year yeah the off year. uh no i think it's just it's just it's taken a little bit to kind of get back into the swing of things here and it's uh true. but don't worry guys you know uh, like I said, we don't get paid by this. We've now put money where our mouths are. We are interested in this, and yeah. we're trying to move forward we're for this next nowhere. year. Yeah, no. <laughs> All you guys that are like, why are these guys still posting this shit? You know, just might as well we start listening. Listen to them yeah, talk. Why? I gotta listen to them all the time uh, in real life. And uh, oh, and then by the way, your friend uh, Julie, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she. Um, we're gonna give her the greatest shout out. Another the world. shout out. Um, so we actually mentioned it towards the end, the tail end of our last episode, but uh, once again. Uh, thanks, to, uh, shout outs to Julie who uh, has some experience with graphic design and stuff. She actually just did a, a picture of the of the late night chat network for us that we've put up now on our SoundCloud page as well as on our Instagram account. It's her picture on there. Well, so I'm to her boyfriend be... too, you know, because honestly, he he's he's been answering a lot of the questions. Oh yes. Me that I've been asking. See, I'm hearing them fourth person. Really, that's a really good thing, too. <laughs> I mean, I know it's probably driving him crazy the much as... Because she's 
And she'll, she'll be messaging him as soon as I ask. Right? Well, I was about to say, I'm and the fourth person that hears back. about that stuff, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm the we're last. Going, we're going, we're going from over, Jay yeah. to Julie to his, her boyfriend back to you, back to me, right? So yeah. I'm, like, at the end of the line when it hears that. Because that's, you're right. I didn't think of that, but that's a good point. He's been very helpful well, in that sense, We're going to probably put up, well, probably, I'm going to put up for sure in the notes there uh, uh, a link for her uh, photography page. Yeah. Check that I out, also guys. gave her a shout out. I did a post there on Instagram where I actually had her Instagram account account there and i put dm her for any inquiries if you guys need any kind of you know if you're planning on doing any projects or you need any kind of logos made for her, anything she's photography, into photography she's video, got a bunch of photography on her instagram everything. page yeah. and i'm gonna do another post as well on facebook because i haven't done one on there as of yet either but yeah shout out to her been being really helpful oh, yeah. and um and you know like I said, this is phase one. This uh, new setup. There were we and that phase, phase two. One. I mean, even there, you got the picture. We got the setup. We got more things coming down. The, uh, you know what I mean? Hopefully yeah. Mr. T that's gone the way. That's so. what I mean. So that's why we uh, we we. I'm waiting on some answers on that one. So. You know, if if we if we do a couple of new things moving into the new year, continue to do this, I'll be very happy for the progress of the cast. Uh, interesting. At this Maybe point, we get yeah. you guys to start calling in live now and stuff like that, which yeah. would be if you know if you guys are up yeah. at this time and. And doing certain things you know doing nothing yeah like i like i said we'll uh we'll you know we don't want to speak too soon on a lot of these things but like just like this new setup here we got working today uh oh, could you speak. know i yeah. know it's it, at least not speak soon but at least you can, can tease speak it but we, you know you know what we teased about this and we actually did it and then you know i didn't think until you until you actually pulled the trigger I didn't think we were going to do it. I thought, okay, it was a good talk. It was a good talk. <laughs> right, you know, right, I, right, right. I thought we were still going to keep it the same way. But then after you were just like, I don't know what it was. Before the new year, you went into like beast mode. <laughs> he did, guys. He went into like beast mode and he went nuts. And he just started Googling all kinds of stuff and, and equipment and asking questions and... Uh, yeah, you know, well, that's it, the thing. It was crazy. It, Even I, I though we weren't happened. recording, I had a lot of free time on my hands, and then I started fucking looking into all that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I we weren't we may have been off for a couple weeks there, but that doesn't mean I had stopped working on the cast. Like in any way. Well, you know yeah, I, mean? like, you know, yeah. I didn't realize how because okay. I know you were doing stuff. Well. Even the trade talk and the and the uh, a lot of that was pre-recorded. Like I did a lot of yeah. that stuff before we took that time off. Like we, I kind of banged all that stuff out. Right, you're right. I kind of had a second wind of uh, <laughs> like, figure out what yeah. to do. Yeah, so we, we yeah. just started looking into all the information. I think he, one day he was ready to even throw the computer, thinking that he'd allow <laughs> you have to, he's got to get a new computer. You know, and apparently it doesn't look like he has to right Not now. Not yet, but <laughs> right? we'll so see. We'll see. For, it'll last them for a while, I yeah. know, but I know eventually I can, I, we all need new stuff, right? Yeah, you know, the way so. they, they make things nowadays, they're bit, built to not last. <laughs> no, exactly. Just like everything. Uh, but here we are, Jay. Congrats. No, good job, man. That's, uh, you know, well, uh, that's uh, this is really exciting for us, guys. And uh, like I said, in the coming weeks, you might hear us kind of playing around with the sound as we bring on guests. We're going to have a different setup for guests as well. Um, yeah, that'll be another interesting setup that we can look forward to. Yeah. yeah venturing into which shouldn't be actually you know what okay it might not be that bad since everything is set up the way it yeah. is yeah right? in light of all this because um because we got this new mic set up we're probably not going to be ready to have any in uh in-house guests for the 50th episode like we had hoped and planned for next next week because yeah. big milestone episode guys so hopefully we can get a lot of people to Pretty call well. in maybe that day uh yeah next week. that's a big deal man that's a big deal and over a year of doing this right and uh and uh Putting you know more to come this shit, more to bro. come more to come like i'm hoping i'm hoping in the new year i don't want to this is one thing i don't want to hold ourselves to but maybe mm -hmm. we can get at least one new show on there uh, occasional show on the, Dude, on the I network right talking a lot and i know so, and i keep thinking about it every night i don't know if it's just me and <clears throat> being a little bit uh i don't know paranoid about myself i like i mean i have a lot of ideas that myself individually like sorry personally that i just want to try i would like to try and i was thinking maybe if i'm going to record something maybe i'll try it at home by myself before i do anything give it a, it's a test run on my own yeah just to see right like i mean it doesn't have to be any quality or anything it could just me be me talking on the show like a show like a my own little pilot right you know just to see i don't know but i still haven't nailed it you know what i'm going to talk about i mean when you're going to go, and if I'd, I'd love to talk to a bunch of people on the phone, calling in and stuff like that, and having discussions about things, you know, but who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll, we'll see what the year brings. Yeah, like I said, this is just phase one, guys. Yeah. We hope to do uh, a few other things. This new, 
this new artwork for the site, these this new set, uh, audio setup, you know, uh, and then once we get these things kind of up and running, you know, we'll be trying to move on to some other things, some other new exciting ideas. So yeah, yeah it's been look, fun. If anybody hasn't noticed, we have the same color mic. I mean, the same size mic. <laughs> we do, yeah. No more, no more arguments about the size of our mics anymore, yeah. Jay. <laughs> it's how big the knob Anyways, is, yeah, I guess enough about our, our setup here. And uh, Jay just wanted to let you guys know uh, about how frustrating, uh, uh, you know, it can be for me personally behind the scenes yeah, with this really, stuff. Like, I get guys, really fixated yeah, on that uh, stuff. I don't joke around when I say, yeah, he, 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 when he puts his effort into it, he really does. <laughs> well, my, he puts it so much that it's going to cost him a, a place to live one day. <laughs> Well, my girlfriend knows how I am. So the no, next day when I figured thank, it out, thank God before we recorded Weekly Wine Comic Time, she kind of looked at me. She's like, oh, so you're you're okay now? You're not frustrated anymore? Because <laughs> you can tell. Because even though I tried to, like, not be fixated, even into the evening after you left, that evening, <laughs> she could tell, like, my mind would wander. I'd be, like, on my phone, like, looking something up, you know, while watching a movie or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be, like, because cause, cause it, 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 it bugs me. It, it bugs me. It it, 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 um... It, it, yeah, it, it really takes hurts over. You. It, it really drives it, nuts <laughs> until you can figure it out. I know that's why I just. But yeah, it's because I'm general. Be, I'm interested. Just, it's I I mean, it but is. I do get a little bit obsessive. I do get a little bit neurotic. I actually discussed it with Julie when when we were working. Oh, I know you guys show. had a good laugh about it. Yeah, yeah like I said he's just he's gotta no. He's I, I, she she's actually the one who actually pointed it out to me. And, and she, I think, only talked to you through message about... I don't see myself as a control freak, though. I mean, yes, I like things that, like a certain way if I'm kind of doing them, yeah. but I think it's more of... If I'm really invested and like interested in something like that, then yeah. I, I, I kind of... I, I get excessive? I, I, I get, I, I'm, I'm in a hundred percent, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I need yeah. to know everything about that thing because I want to... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, especially this thing that's what i mean like well, you should be happy for the commitment at the odd time where i may be a little moody or happy, it's like but not to the point where i i, I wouldn't say that i've well, taken control of this show where i'm like well, i don't i don't ever take your opinion into account or anything well, you like want, that yeah. you want me to do more things too i know that's what i i understand that whole part right yeah but uh yeah so it's just that when you when you get into this mood, uh, mood when you get into this swing of things you, you can't get yourself out of it, man. Yeah. It's just like, it, it can be annoying. Yeah. Because uh, it looks sure. like it's frustrating you, right? And it's like, take a breather, Nix, relax, yeah. right? But what I, I know you said you're invested, you're into it, you want to do it, you want to, you know, and, and that's why I said, remember you said, because if you were going to come back to doing cast, you weren't going to, you had to do it. You, you weren't going to, you were going to either do it all the way or you weren't going to do it all anymore. That mm -hmm. was one of the things. And we talked about that. I think if you don't remember when I brought it up to you last last year around this time when we we were gonna start this whole thing. Yeah. Right. And you said that, right? And I said, "Well, I'm in it." And I told you I've been in here every way, like right. you know. Yeah, you know, no, you're you know right. I'm not the greatest when it, I'm lazy when it comes to getting getting up or getting here on time, but like drives drives you nuts. Mm. I'm not the most punctual person, <laughs> but that's why I'm fucking single, dude. Yeah. You know, but. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. No, you're right. I did say that, and I and I guess uh, I followed through with that. I mean, well, at least you're I committed mean, enough to continue showing up, right? right? So yeah. And we've already passed. Uh, we've already passed. Uh, thing. I don't know how many episodes did you guys make of? Uh, thing? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, well, of uh, of uh, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. I mean, if you're gonna count all in, we did about thirty episodes of content, but the sh the proper the show itself proper probably there was twenty six episodes and then a couple of drunk casts so yeah let's say thirty episodes of yeah content. so yeah yeah you know but yeah. you guys obviously were younger than after that it yeah. was about getting late right it was about finding a girlfriend I mean I was getting late at that point yeah. but it's not <laughs> I was hoping so man you know you but you get it was all about that that's because I podcast guys this being like getting late. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of reading material in here you know how much time that takes up. Does take up a lot of time. That is true. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> you try to tell me where he can fit in all that time and get laid. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just messing. You must be a fast reader. <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna say fast something else. <laughs> Both, yeah, you're right. You'd be right on both accounts. <laughs> you want to spit up on all the new equipment. That would fucking suck. I watched a video when you I was looking up videos. I watched a video when I was looking up videos, looking at mixer stuff. Some guy had put us in a video where he's like, water and mixers do not mix. Apparently, like, he spilled water all over his fucking mixer. I'm like, you fucking idiot. Well, you know, think about it. Huh? Yeah. People put their drinks there and they... Well, know, that's why I have my wine right now. I'm yeah, careful. I'm thinking, that. Yeah, that's why you're holding your drink. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself... 
Yeah, don't put it on the table in case the hand just starts moving around. And, you know, the room, it looks larger than may appear, objects in the camera. Right? And we're not, we're not, we're close together, man. It gets hot, it gets fucking sweaty in here. Now yeah. the mixer's adding some more fucking heat. Yeah, it, it does it, heat up. It, it does heat realize, up. Yeah, right? yeah. But it's got all that shit going on inside it. And yeah. It needs to cool down somehow, right? Yeah. So. Well, how was your week? Other than, uh, oh, you want to actually, we, we can actually, um, we, can tra- we can go into some another uh, frustrating podcaster. Uh, oh, yeah. Frustrating speaking podcaster. Of, yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, yeah, the, 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 fr- fr- the frustrated podcasters, that's after you told me to watch that, listen to that episode <laughs> of uh, the WTF episode of Mark Marin with with uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, uh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh my God, I I listened to that after the whole thing with you. This is why I did not talk. Like, I did not push that day because I didn't want you freaking out. Because he I actually also, swore. Like, he, he, he he's threw like, fuck me. Right yeah, like, <laughs> fuck. And, like, Mark, yeah, Mark Marin um, is, the, I think, two or three new uh, episodes ago. If you go, if you guys Google it, uh, if you don't are currently subscribed to his podcast, we've talked about it here on the show before. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good podcast. Yeah, he had Leo and uh, Brad Pitt on. Um, after a press uh, junket yeah. um, for, you know, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I guess they replayed it. Even though it's been out for a while, they were replaying it, it at a theater, and I guess they went and did, like, a, like a, kind of a question, a Q&A kind of type thing yeah, with yeah. Quentin. And then after that, they came out and they spoke to Mark Maron for an hour. But, yeah, Mark Maron... Um, so I also listened to that episode after it. Like, the weekend after we tried to set it up the first time, it came out that Monday. <laughs> so then... meant for you to... Yeah, you. so I listened to it that evening... And, uh, and yeah, it was just like, it was just one of those moments where he had arguably some of the biggest stars he's ever, he had the fucking president Obama at the time after he was out of office on his show. Yeah. And that wasn't even a star like Brad Pitt and, uh, Leo right. And together. he had Leo and Brad on at the same time, something the he normally team. doesn't do. Like he normally doesn't do, he does one-on-one normally. Right. Mm-hmm. But I guess some, you know, you don't turn down a fucking opportunity yeah, to get both those guys on the offer, podcast. Yeah. Exactly. He hasn't had either of them on. So like. It's hard to get them at separate times too right so yeah they had they had him on, he had them on and uh prior to the actual interview starting he said at the top at the top of the podcast he, he explained usually he talks for like 10 or 15 minutes this he talked for like fucking two minutes you could tell he was even frustrated talking about Just the experience about, yeah, and he's and he said he's like normally i don't get nervous guys like i'm not really phased everybody's a person i've had so many people on this show and blah 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 but listen these guys came through and they're huge stars they're movie stars he's like i got actual really nervous like i actually you know and and then he's like and then the technical problem started i was like oh, oh man, no i was dying because mark Marin, you know he 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 normally does his podcast as, as set up in his garage at his home but uh occasionally in the past for certain people uh, just to get them on the show, he's made the commitment to go and and travel somewhere and meet them to do the podcast live. Yeah. So then, for anybody who doesn't know when you do a podcast live, there's a whole other sit, different set of equipment that you normally have to use uh, compared to a home studio to get that done, to get that audio. So, for whatever reason, something was going wonky during the recording. And you can hear it yeah. clearly through the... Through the episode right? well you're no stranger to it that's no, what i mean like I mean, we've had experiences uh, recording our own stuff where you can hear certain vibrations going through the audio yeah. and you can tell oh, that's a fucking loose wire or, you know what i mean like yeah, that's or I, echo or yeah when you, when you know that let's say my this mic's not working and you're only picking me up on your mic like or you know that's what i i, I found i found that was going on one of the mics was shutting off it wasn't they weren't all working yeah with each other right. at the same time, right? So like, so Brad Pitt started off the interview saying that he was a fan, like he's he's watched your show and he and he, he's listened to some of the podcasts and so he's, he's familiar watched, with yeah, him. Leo yeah. isn't as familiar with him, but Leo said he had mentioned him to him and all this. Yeah, and uh, you know who knows with these stars, sometimes they blow smoke. But Brad actually generally seemed honest about it, like he was a fan of his. So then, as the, as like about maybe twenty minutes into this hour podcast, shit starts going fucking <laughs> screwing with the yeah, audio. It was a little weird. And Mark Merritt has a fucking meltdown. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see it live, like like this, like that whole up. Like I mean, I I could talk to you guys for days about what happened here, but I, I wanted I should have just recorded it. That would have been funny for content. Just had things set up there. Yeah. Nico's trying to, but yeah, no, I could just imagine what that's like Like he lost his shit he's hearing a humming and he's already got issues with that whole thing remember 
when you listen to his podcast about the garage and he's, he's getting always these weird noises that he, he finds yeah. is wrong with his audio and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But yeah. I don't always hear it when he talks. I you know usually I can pick something up, but this one he, it was screwy and I can understand how everything was driving him nuts and he knew he probably only had a limited amount of time with uh, with those two. He did. He only had an hour. That's yeah, that's so, what they gave him. So he, like he was pissed. So then out of the hour you get maybe like I don't know forty five minutes. <laughs> no, but yeah, I think he had long. I think it ended up working. No, maybe like fifty minutes. Hour, you yeah. definitely had about maybe ten minutes of him yelling and bitching was, about what was, was going on. Yeah, though. it was kind of funny though. Don't get me wrong. He he he. Th- I don't know if, how edited down it was, but the way, but they did capture a lot of it, so they didn't kind of, no, they, they didn't cause... stray away from you hearing the experience of it. And then even and I was telling Jay the other day, um, he he also says at the start of the podcast about how people think you know because he's met all these stars and he's and he's and he's fame you know kind of famous now, and then he's he's been doing this podcast, making a name for himself. It's not as glamorous as you could think because he's like, guess what? I'm the asshole packing away all this equipment yeah. and putting it back in the car and getting back on the road after this thing. Like the stars are gone. I'm left in this fucking little room in this hotel or wherever the fuck he was saying. He was just describing yeah. the things that you need to go through to be able to do this kind of thing, right? He's yeah. like, it's not glamorous, guys. It's literally me packing up my own fucking equipment, <laughs> putting it in the car, and then fucking, you know what I mean? Like, isn't he, he on the road too right now for? Or what, sometimes he does stand up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Up, so that's right? normally when he does these kind of things where he's like hey listen i'm gonna Makes be doing good money, I think, yeah right? i'm gonna be doing a couple of weeks of stand-up let me get a couple of interviews in on the road like people that normally you know will aren't willing to come down and maybe i can catch them well, out somewhere well, right brad so, pitt said that he actually wanted to be in the he, did. And he, he wanted to see the garage right yeah but uh yeah leo i i, I find that he sounded uh that he still sounded young but i didn't know they both both he's met like each other on, on growing pains eh yeah. They both met each other on Growing Pain. It was a good interview for what it, it was, was, guys. Oh, like, nice. I'm just saying, like, if you're a fan of his or... You don't or... realize how much, yeah. how much they've been in, intertwined throughout their careers. Leonardo and even Brad Pitt, they were, they were... It wasn't just... There was TV shows that they would pop up on here and there, right? Sure. Like, uh, stars and guest stars or guest appearance on guest shows. And, yeah. You know, but it all started with uh, Growing Pains. I didn't realize it. And, you know, I always thought it was the movie, like... Uh, well, I know I knew it was always a TV show, but I I always thought the first movie was like uh, uh, once eating Gilbert Grape, but that wasn't the first movie. The I movie think that was his one. biggest first movie. Yeah, because no, he was there pretty was young. When he was saying that he started. Well, he meant no, no, no. He that wasn't his first film, but, he, but I think that was like one of the first ones he got noticed for. Right, was that movie? Like that was one of his biggest roles at the start. Right, yeah. like he definitely had starred in stuff before that. From yeah. what he was saying, but I think that was like. You know, that was the one that kind of got him noticed. Like, this kid's, you know, going to be, a like, a big star, this kid, right? Yeah. So, at least, at least in my opinion, like, that's the youngest he's been in a movie that I've seen where, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, he, he he was recognized for his acting, right? So. It uh, was a, it was kind of a crazy interview. I thought it was good. I thought he pulled out a lot of information from two guys. We, Brad Pitt did it just sounded like they were buddies him and Brad Pitt like they know oh, yeah. go, like Brad Pitt's just one of those guys that he seems it seems to be just laid back relaxed and he's just enjoying life I'm gonna need you to watch that movie man once upon a time in Hollywood yeah, I, I want to talk about I want to talk about it with you because like, late after I, after I listened to the podcast it yeah got late you know I, I actually I threw out another one I threw out the Danny DeVito one what? yeah the, the, Danny DeVito the Danny DeVito one. podcast uh, sorry uh interview that oh was, yes i've heard that, that. i heard that good. too yeah i heard that I know, too right? that one was a good interview i heard that interview too, too yeah right? like you hear a lot about it he knew a lot of people too right yes andy kaufman all those guys yeah right? so, yeah he was on taxi with andy kaufman so, yeah, yeah so i mean they all knew each other they're all yeah. good friends so he was he, he's fucking hilarious too when he talks yeah he's not he's a joker too he's not he's a, he's kind of funny when he when he gets into the stories right yeah but uh yeah no he's uh they, those interviews go on that show are just on that WTF are really good. Not, you know, yeah, great job as always, like Mark, to Mark Merritt. Up, you know, he's and, and it's it's good to hear that he's still trying to figure it all out too. After what do you say? After what over a thousand episodes? Yeah, right? he's done over a thousand. Over ten episodes. years of doing yeah. this. Yeah. Right. It's nice to know that he still has technical difficulties too, right? It just sucks because of the timing that 
One, he was under pressure with the time. Two, he's interviewing two people. <laughs> but that's when it happens. Three, they're huge stars. You know what I mean? Like, they are. It's not like yeah. Joe Schmoes. Yeah. And then and then you get the technical issues. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't... If it wasn't if he, was, if he wasn't in his garage. He wasn't at home base. You know what I mean? So there was so many other factors that were already kind of giving him problems that are not... At least make him not comfortable yeah, as he exactly. normally is. Throwing him off. And, you know, comfortability with a podcast is key because how can you sit there and have a fucking conversation when your mind's somewhere else Obviously. so he's sitting there fixating on the fucking audio but at the same time he's trying to argue he's trying to he's trying to interview two of the fucking most famous actors in the world well, luckily, <laughs> they're good at, hey, luckily they were they're, they he, themselves and, are good at talking absolutely they and then they, they even said yeah they don't let's just roll with it and he did a great job too i don't want to say make it seem like he didn't they're do a good actors, interview i know mark maron did a great job but yeah. you know what i mean i just you could uh, see where he was just going uh, yeah i felt his pain to listen to i felt his right? i felt i felt his pain though that i you I could was just hear like, where he was just pulling back and he yeah. was going, lit, you know, he was just agreeing with what they were saying and, sort of thing. And Brad Pitt me? was loving it. Brad Pitt's yeah. like, I wanted to see this. Like, yeah. he's like, he's like, you're that guy. Like, he, everything he knew about him, like being that angry fucking individual that he is at times, he, he's seen it, it live. Worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out. I mean, it, it didn't stop. Like, the, 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 um, Leonardo there, he filled in most of that gap too by explaining his career. Mm-hmm. It was basically him that explained most of the career. I mean, Brad Pitt got into it a little bit, right? But they they were good at doing like a, I felt, what do they call that improv, like yeah. Just a, I felt well, of course. I mean, it, it, they helped them out. Yeah, man, Leo, I I felt nuts, came probably. off uh, very proper compared to Brad Pitt, though. You know well, what I mean? Brad like, Pitt's laid back. Yeah, yeah, Brad Pitt's just one of those guys that's just like yeah, you know, yeah. I'm Brad Pitt, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, I just I liked his story too. He, he was goes, talking. He was talking about uh, getting high uh, during the premiere of Fight Club. Uh, with Edward Norton and them, and they got stoned, and they were watching. Had to it. watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine watching Fight Club Stone. I haven't done it. Imagine I was trying, trying to, uh, trying to do it. Watch it stone and watch it not stone. Imagine yeah. That. No, it was just funny him talking about that, and he also kind of, he kind of skated by it a bit, but he admitted that you know, I guess during the time that he was married, he was with Angelina there, and all that was. Uh, yeah, that, he was in a dark <laughs> period of his life or some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then when he talked about the kids too, right? Because I forget that he's got a shitload. He's got of like kids. a thousand kids. Yeah, adopted, they adopted. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but he, I mean, he loves. He's still good with the kids and everything. But it was just like that marriage. But he didn't. That's get, that's when Brad Pitt. That's or... when Brad Pitt got into the whole uh, that whole look of the old man beard, and he kind of you know what I mean? he looked the worst at his, he ever had in his whole career when he shacked out with. Uh, with uh yeah, yeah and you know so it's quite stressful man <laughs> but the, having but the, a like you know getting getting into a relationship a stressful period imagine when it was angelina jolie i i don't even think she was at her prime when he was with her though it's very strange doesn't mean it doesn't mean nothing doesn't yeah it doesn't mean nothing yeah you, I mean, he could have fucked anybody. Probably. She seems crazy though, man. I mean, she was. Well, a, maybe they were on the was, same wavelength. Like, maybe bro, he was. Ma- she was married to what's his name for a hot minute or with him for a long ass time. Fucking Billy, Billy Bob Thornton. So she must be fucking crazy, man. Like, yeah, they all had they, had they had vials of each other's blood on the necklace. of Those two. Did you did you ever hear about that? Yeah, that's a, it's, that's it the that's the weird, the Hollywood man. story of those two is that they kept vials of each other's fucking blood on around their neck. Yeah. I don't care how much I love you. I don't know if I'd be fucking doing that. That's kind of yeah, strange. Bro, that's like some vampire shit. Oh man. <laughs> well, yeah. So now I can see where people get a little nuts and it gets crazy. Well, I get like that too when I'm trying to fuck or fix my car. I guess she has a tight then. With the beards, maybe that's why Brad. Well, that's why maybe he had to grow that style because actually that's the way he kind of looks. Billy Bob, Bob looks, looks like usually. Like yeah. Actually, speaking of Billy Bob, his bad Santa too is out. I don't know if you've watched it. Yet. Been out a while, bro. Well, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, man. it came out like a few years ago. It just came on was Netflix it? recently, but I think oh, it's it just because it just came out. Yeah, Netflix. no, that's been okay, out for a long time. Okay. It's shit. It is. Honestly, it's I, very well, disappointing. I just put it on and I fell asleep. Right. So I, I I'm, I'm only could probably answer my question. Yeah, the first one is so good and the second one is not good like Dude, in my you gotta opinion. watch that series that he's in man goliath that was crazy. i'm gonna check it out I, i'm gonna I check don't it think out coming out with another season but uh before you moved on there i just wanted to quickly mention because as we're talking on the topic of podcast i uh i got introduced to a uh another new podcast so another shout out to another good show i've discovered uh called uh, the rewatchables uh this is uh bill simmons and some other people um, I'm the, who I'm not all familiar with. Like it seems like they they're all broadcasters though. They're all guys that have worked in sports and uh, and uh, have written stuff uh, either for sports and, or movies and okay. stuff like that. 
and they go back and they rewatch uh, movies, uh, favorite movies of theirs. Uh, and I guess the show's been going on for a couple of years now, so they got like a, a bunch of shows in their library. So I've just downloaded a bunch of them, and uh, just the ones like where the movies I'm familiar with. And they go in and they break down a movie and talk about it, and they have all these kind of categories they hit, and uh, and they discuss the film, right? And it's movies that they they uh, they specifically watch because they feel they're rewatchable movies. Like they can be movies from not no recent ones, so they're mostly movies from like you know they can be like from five years ago. But mostly, you know, it'll be like anywhere from five to ten to fifteen years ago, and, and or more, and okay. ones that are kind of movies that they really love. So uh, that's what I like about the show because I've heard other movie pro- podcast reviews and things like that, like these kind of stuff. And if they're not talking about new movies where they really haven't had a lot of time to kind of sit there, like even us, we've talked about movies we've just watched. But I think your opinion of of things changes over time, even when you've been able to like it's a movie you you know you enjoy and you've watched it like maybe several times you know what i mean like and and when and so like hearing these guys describe the movies like it was nice to hear it was refreshing to hear people talking about movies they like because a lot of times these reviewers they pick movies that they want to talk about and be critical of and that's why sometimes it's new movies because it's like um you want you want to know yeah you want to know whether or not that person liked that film but and 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 then I've heard other podcasts where people go in and they watch movie crappy things and mm-hmm. they make fun of them. Yeah. They, it's it's mostly like, hey, let's watch this shitty movie and talk about how bad it was, and that could be interesting to some degree. But to hear guys talk about movies that you know what I mean, classics and and stuff that they really love and and they did kind of delve deep into, it's it's really refreshing to hear, and it kind of got my mind going too. You know what I mean, thinking about the possibilities of doing something like that at some someday, right? So. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to them. Got check it out. Quentin Tarantino was on their their last last two new episodes. He went on for three episodes. Okay. The next the la- the one that's gonna air next week is the last of the three. Yeah. Um, and he talks about other people's movies with them, like because Quentin Tarantino being a big fan of films as well. He's doing right now. He's making up his. He's still working on his list of the decade. Quentin Tarantino every year over the last I don't know how long he's been doing it has put out a list every year of his top ten favorite movies of that year. Oh, okay. So, okay, check it out. so that's how I kind of came across this episode. I seen it on my Twitter feed. They're like, "Oh, our newest episode of Quit Tarantino on." So, and I listened to it. And I really liked it. And then I went back and listened to some of the episodes of the main host without Quentin. And I was like, "Oh, this is really good." And then this week, a new one came out. I was like, "Another one of Quentin?" And apparently, they did three, which I didn't even know. So they talk about. Um, um, it's really interesting. It's it's interesting to get another director in there, kind of critiquing other people's work too. Because as a director. He's got different perspectives on things and like how good a movie is and stuff. But he's as much of a, a film fan as anybody, Quentin Tarantino. So, uh, really good stuff. You uh, know what's funny yeah. is I don't get I don't go back and watch films. It's very rarely I go back and watch something that I've watched already. Yeah. I don't know why. That's a shame, man, because that's what I mean. That's why a lot of the times I'm so backlogged on checking out new things because there's a nice comfortability of rewatching stuff you know you've enjoyed yeah, but you know what i mean like it's, I, it's, i enjoyed it that was the whole point i enjoyed it now let's move on and see what the next best thing is right yeah I, I don't me personally i like to have a mix because like uh there's a lot of things that don't st- stick with you that you yeah. watch i can watch 10 movies and only five of them will be good you know what i mean like so and and, and only three of those i'll ever rewatch again you, you see what i'm saying so I mean, like there's a few there's just certain ones that i'll rewatch, but usually those are the ones when i don't want to I don't want to uh, sleep. Uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, sure. You throw something on. Sleep, I, yeah. yeah, or I try to. I'm using it to to actually sleep. Yeah, yeah. That's where I end up turning it on. But other than that, no. Like, I there's very few shows that I actually go and watch. Mm-hmm. So, but like rewatch. Like, I, I you know what? I I usually tend to forget who who the actors are, what the names are, and the directors, right? Yeah. So. I uh, I don't t- like I mean the names of the movies I can watch and if, if if I see it if I come across it sometimes it's hard to find like I I don't like I have a library of computer uh, movies I've I've been watching stuff off Netflix a lot of new stuff coming out on Netflix yeah. a lot of things like that but nothing like re- ever rewatchable I mean maybe there's some uh, uh, some TV switch, uh, series that I would rewatch right but yeah nothing I don't know movie wise. Oh, got some. Uh, let's get some ideas going here, AJ. You know, maybe that would be a good opportunity uh, for you to do something like that. The problem is, I'd probably pick it apart too much the second time. But that's that's the kind of the fun in it too. You know what I mean? Like as long yeah. as it's not ruining the movie for you, but it's one well, of those things where you can revisit something with 
uh, almost fresh eyes at the same time. Because if you haven't seen something for 10, 15 years, sometimes it holds up, sometimes it doesn't, right? But then That's... you know who the killer is. <laughs> Say something like that. You watch the show. You know who it is already at the end. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just the experience. It's the scenes, the memorable moments, the, the, the actors in it. I, I'm kind of surprised to hear you don't have any favorite movies that you ever go back to rewatch. You're always on to the next thing, eh? Yeah. Consuming the next thing. This, this, that's all it does is it consumes and spits it out, man. I don't know why. I, I, like some of the movies that, that for instance, that they, that they touched on that they talked about that I've seen a bunch of times, like they kind of did, they did Inglorious Bastards, the Quentin Tarantino movie. Uh, they did, I listened to the one where they did The Shining the other day. You know how fun that fucking movie is, The Breakdown? I watched that a second time. That's what I mean, but this but that is... That was, these, I love Jack Nicholson. Right, but that's, but that's what they mostly talked about when they did yeah. the review, right? Yeah. So anyways, guys, check it out. They yeah. also actually apparently do videos on YouTube while they record the podcast, similar to what we do, which I wasn't aware of oh. uh, until this most recent episode I heard. Um, so I haven't actually even checked those out myself. So, uh, see, so yeah, it's called the rewatchables and, uh, Quentin's going to be on their th uh, third and final episode of theirs, uh, next week. Uh, so yeah, just really cool. I, it, it definitely got my, uh, uh, you know, my, me thinking, it's got me kind of thinking, man, you know, maybe, you, no, maybe I, at I, some I, point we could do something I, I movie you, specific for the, for the podcast. I know where you're, I, see, <laughs> I see where you're getting at with that. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, it, it. it Sounds like an awesome idea. I told you I threw that idea out to the old man, but he hasn't decided to be back yet, so. Oh, I have to see what to, happens, yeah. He doesn't want to. Hey, maybe I'll have to do it with my nephew, man. No? Yeah, speaking of your nephew, uh, no. big star here. You want to talk about him for a moment? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, everybody knows this personally. I mean, they know that everything's, you know, uh, up, and, up and coming for the little guy. He's having fun, man. He's, uh, Starring in commercials, doing voiceover yeah, stuff. Everybody's ever seen him in that, that that Toys R Us commercial, which was pretty cool. It, it's, it was it was funny because you hear it, and he's not around, but you hear his voice in the background off the TV or something. Yeah. And it throws you right off. Right? <laughs> You're like, where the hell is he? Uh, but yeah, no, it was so it was so cool to see him on that. And uh, apparently, he's got another one coming out and another commercial, and uh, he just started recording for. Uh, uh, cartoon voiceover so yeah you know i don't want to i can't give yeah that's what i mean that's what i right? mean yeah but he's uh he's doing like 26 episodes that's pretty cool man and you know voice voiceovers i mean you can get ugly like us after and still be on doing voiceovers so you, you, <laughs> that's never, what, go, you can never go wrong that's what they man. call a face for radio <laughs> yeah exactly man. we could have been like that, that imagine that being like a little cartoon or something uh, talking well that's kids. how i felt when we first doing these youtube videos because i wasn't comfortable with filming myself because i'm so used to being behind the mic but that's right? what i Not mean i feel like it's weird when you're by yourself like talking to the to the, well, to and the I've done that. I've seen people do that. I've like, done I've that seen, myself yeah. before. Well, for my well, no, not for a video. No, no like, that's no, what no, I mean no, for no, video. No. Like I feel like if I'm just talking me in the camera, I'm thinking, yeah. you know, sometimes I don't know. I always think that's the. I think it's it's cool when there's somebody else there or whatever. But if it's just talking to the camera, I feel off. Right. Like, I feel like I'm just talking to a my to myself, <laughs> which is usually what happens. Yeah. Anyways, I should try it. Maybe instead of talking to myself in my head, I could talk to myself on the screen, eh? Yeah. That's the thing. I'd have to sit there and record it with something like this, and Julie will get so mad at me because I'm using a phone to record my video. Right? Right. She's uh, She gets always so mad at us. Oh, well, whatever. We don't... Uh, we, we, we've invested our money elsewhere. We can't... We can't well, you know what? I, I, I can't ever pick it out, what she notices, but she notices all kinds. I guess yeah, we'll that's she, what she, she does, she, right? Yeah, exactly. I and mean, that's her thing, right? She understands it all. Like, so, uh... So this one, one D or whatever we have here, guys. Yeah. So, 50th episode next week, so... Oh, are you, uh, are I you, did mention that earlier already. Are you going to get a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought about it this week, and I was like, you know, maybe yeah, I'll save I should it shave. <laughs> you know, fuck it, I told you guys. Once the beard came off the one time, week. it's not coming off again, man. I, if people don't like my beard. They can what else? Me. Talk about Tim Hortons for a little bit because yeah, I know uh, I know uh, you had some thoughts on uh, some uh, recent things that have occurred with um. Uh, so, I have as well. So. Yeah, I know somebody that doesn't usually go to Tim Hortons, Mister, uh, Mister. Uh, uh, I don't know why you drink Starbucks Tim Hortons. Well, I to sometimes Hortons, go to Starbucks, but I don't go anywhere well, regularly, to be honest with yeah, you. I'm you're not, not a big uh, coffee guy, right? I am. I just don't drink in the in the evenings as much, right? You're not like me, like where you drink in ten a day. No, I drink at least two, 
tops yeah if yeah. i drink and i usually just drink one in the morning first thing and then sometimes midday i'll have one or in the afternoon when i told my nephew i'd get one every free or a free one every uh every two days he fucking went holy shit you drink a lot of coffee yeah well yeah what did you think yeah you see, everybody sees me with one in my hand it's like a drug man no but uh tim Hortons has really been weird lately to me to people i think in general i think it's been all over the news i think it's been everywhere they uh first of all i went to one of those new tim hortons i don't know if anybody's ever been to one of those new style tim hortons i sure have yeah right and i think you know which one i'm talking about which yes. ones i'm talking about yes. so they they uh the funny thing is i get in there and i'm not trying to like you know whatever everybody needs to work right so you get in there you walk in there all of a sudden it looks like a fucking starbucks design like you know it's got a nice espresso looking machine it's got like all these weird things i didn't notice that it didn't serve food it just served pastries like it just served donuts and stuff like that and then you get up to the counter and everything was just like scripted i feel yeah, like it's like a people, starbucks i feel no but i feel not like the scripted part the not script? the scripted part. No, the, 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 the the not having full meals anymore. Yeah. Um, the pastries only. Yeah. The prices. This trying to the make things seem fancier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But go on, yeah. You know, I know they but were then having he... a big deal with trying to keep homeless people out of the sleeping inside there at night overnight and stuff like that. Yeah. They were trying to keep it like that. But, but I, the scriptedness. Yeah. The scriptedness was just drove me nuts. Like, I mean, they said things that didn't make sense. <laughs> Yeah, I think like that happened to you, right? Yes, like, um, they said uh, when I was there, when I was leaving, or something I had said uh, after ordering my coffee. They said uh, our pleasure, but it wasn't. It, it was. It was. <laughs> it wasn't like proper uh, speech. Like the way they addressed it, like you wouldn't have said our pleasure to what I had asked. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Like so, it was almost as if they were trying to. Like, oh, this is the part where I say this, you know, this is my yeah. cue. So it was like, it was like talking to a fucking robot or something like that, yeah, you know what like, I mean? Yeah, like, what I mean. It was scripted, yeah. right? And, uh, and then one time I went in there, and this is the thing, I, I think I actually mentioned this last episode in passing, we didn't go into too in depth, but this past week, as I've continued to go uh, to that spot a couple more times, I've, I've, had, I've been getting angrier and angrier, and I've been discussing it with uh, Jay. Um, they asked for your name. So, like a Starbucks. So, I, I said Nico to them, and the person thought I said Ego or something. She's like, oh, that's a weird name. Like, that's a unique name. I'm like, Ego? I'm like, no, Nico. And then after that, one day I just went in there, I'm just like, fuck this. I just said my name's like Joe or something. I just made up a fucking name. <laughs> Joe comes against the coffee. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was like, enough of this fucking shit. I was just, I just like... Uh, how many people say John? I just, like, I'm not used to that. I go to Tim Hortons for... To grab my coffee and get and the get fuck, the fuck and out then of and then no, this is the kicker that I almost forgot this one. Then they tried to upsell me on a fucking new donut yeah, when I was there. No, that's I, what I mean. They even here too, like they they want you to get something else. So you want a donut? Like they never ask me anywhere. They just ask me <laughs> for my coffee. Yeah, and that's it. Is that you, anything else? No. Okay, thank you. you Have know? a good day. This is like like. Oh, would you like to try our new fucking blah 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 they donut? Have and I'm just like teas, yeah. Dude. They have teas like. Special, I've never even heard of. And I'm like, no, I don't want to try one. (laughs) It was just so weird. I'm like, really? Like, I've never heard Tim Hortons. Like, the shit sells itself. People go in there, they see what they want. Like, they never, I've never been upselled on a fucking donut. Like, you know what I mean? So, and it wasn't even just like your regular, by the way, that's also gone up in price, like donut. Like, you have your classics that are still like a dollar, but some of them are dollar 20, some of them are dollar 40. This one was like like, 60 cents before. Yeah, yeah. This one was like a dollar. 60 something it was like a deluxe donut of some sort and it has all this fucking shit on it it's probably garbage but like <laughs> they no, were just I like... tried one it wasn't so bad <laughs> oh, was it wasn't okay the chocolate yeah. one no the caramel one okay man. they tried to get they tried to upsell me on that new chocolate one uh fucking disgusting. chocolate la douche chocolate. or whatever the fuck it's, it's like called truffle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's trying to make like a truffle donut yeah sproche de douche or whatever the fuck it's yeah. called and i'm just like yeah. i'm like no i don't want that man and uh i was like i'm okay I just that was just so weird, and that and like you said, like the scriptedness. Because after they did, they're like, oh, like, donut, donut, okay, all right, all right, see, uh, our pleasure. I think maybe that's what they said. It was something like that where I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> so yeah, it's just fucking weird. Like Tim Morton, stop trying to be something else that you're not. You're very basic, and people love you for it. Like just fucking just say it. Just say that. Like why change if it ain't broke? Like well, if they're stale. Like I, I, I am sure they've lost some. Um, some sales to McDonald's coffee and stuff, but, but listen, that's well, the game you're in. They gave away their, their recipe. I mean, they sold that right. the recipe away, right? For to the McDonald's, the yeah. McDonald's yeah. Ticket, right? Which well, is a fantastic somebody coffee. Somebody who worked, somebody who worked there, right? I guess he quit. He quit and got there, had the recipe, had the rights to the recipe. How is that? that stuff. I know we've all heard this story, but how is that legal? Like, was it his, like, did it's he not? It's probably his did, blend, right? It's no. probably, they're all, I mean, beans you're only going to get from, the coffee beans you're only going to get from certain areas of the world, right? No, but did they? Ch- I guess Tim Hortons changed their blend, and then he left the company. So then he's allowed to fucking share this other blend. This is what this, this is what I mean. If it's your blend, if it's his blend, if he came to Tim Hortons marketing that blend, wouldn't before, Tim Hortons have some sort of rights over it though? Is what I'm saying. Depends like, on the contract. Right. Right. If the, that, I guess it would all depend on the contract. Now, if he got fired or something. Maybe that void, you know... He went and took his business cost. elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, he probably said. And then Tim Hortons probably wanted to buy... Maybe he could make that blend from the grapes that... It's from the grapes. From the... <laughs> from the... The uh, beans. coffee beans. Yeah. Well, they look like grapes when they're fucking... Being, when they're fresh. They're just little... They look green. Right. But, uh, no. Uh, he probably... They didn't... They were, they were probably buying the beans from somewhere else. That you couldn't get the blend the right way, and they didn't want it because you know, of course, they want it the cheaper way all the time, right? Because they got to keep up with demand, right? So they want the cheaper bean, so they can probably it, it just probably didn't work out. McDonald's doesn't care for coffee, man. Yeah. Buying coffee beans is like nothing for them, right? So or McDonald's, McDonald's yeah, yeah. It's McDonald's. It's like <laughs> whatever you do, I can do better, yeah, right? And then uh, and that's what happened, right? And so they're just they're they're going in a weird direction. I don't know what they're doing. They they they've really they want to fucking give the the prince and princess or whatever princess and uh, prince harry there yeah oh a lifetime supply of, just pay your fucking employees and his wife man. to move to uh, canada they would only give them 10 cent canada. raise man just free give them coffee some more money. free coffee for them if they move to canada for life yeah you know, for, the, for the, <laughs> the whole time they're here fuck they get everything for free no wonder they're billionaires that family no to get all their tax oh, money. Royalty, right? I know, yeah. but still. <laughs> hey, you know, and then they wanted to get free coffee. I want free coffee, man. I deserve it. I drink enough of this shit. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no? Give Jay free coffee for life, guys. Come oh, on. man. What is this? If I don't have four my four coffees, then, man, I got a fucking headache. Right? You have so a problem. I do have a problem, man. <laughs> Many problems. <laughs> many, many, well, we all know. Anybody out there that knows that. Yeah. You know? knows that uh that i got some fucking issues buddy well yeah i felt i did my old man issue today i I didn't want to admit this to everybody out there but i literally fell out of the bed okay no i think i was telling you on my way in but i uh i got out of the bed dude and i put my leg down all of a sudden it went right underneath it had no way i couldn't put no weight on it nothing i knew i was on my way down Mm-hmm. And there was nothing I can do but put my hands up. And then I nailed my knee, and I was like, fuck, and it's not tingling. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going, holy, not again. I've had this problem once with my arm before. I said, not again. I was hoping, and this is my driving foot. So I was like, fuck, man, you got to be able to be able to drive because they, you know, you got to be able to put in a certain amount of pressure, too, on the brake. Right. Like, you have to, like, literally, sure. you have to be able to put a certain amount of pressure. Because the the car needs to be able to stop properly. I mean, that's why they tell you when you can't drive with a cast and you can't drive with a sprain or whatever, right? Right. So if if especially if it's that foot, because if you need to slam the brakes on, you gotta really. But yeah, but but besides the point, if fuck it, I really <laughs> fucked up my uh, my uh, leg. It was fucking too funny. It finally got better, so I was all right. I was able to make it to my appointment. But uh, other than that, yeah, no, it was it was a, a rough one today, buddy. I felt like an actual old man. You guys can say whatever you, you want out there. Fuck, man. <laughs> you guys can say whatever you want out there. I don't care. But you know what? When your moments come, you'll get them too, man. Your fucking hips. Weird are unknown ball. pains. <laughs> yeah, man. The closer I get to forty, man, the fucking oh. How are your headaches. Canadians doing? They suck right now, man. 
I don't know what the score is. I didn't even see. Sorry, I just want to make you feel even worse about yourself. Kovalchuk's looking all right. Kovalchuk's been doing good. Yeah, he got a point. He got a point in like his last three games or something. Four games tonight. He got an assist. There you go. He's on. He's on a roll. But they're fucking losing to Chicago last time I was. He's not going to keep this pace up, though, honestly. Cool. Well, check. Yeah. All he needs to do is set the pass. That's all he needs to do. Look, they lost 4 1. Fuck you guys, man. You guys can't win a game. They can win two in a row, and that was it. I you thought, losers. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Go on, man. I want to hear it. Fuck. They're starting to really piss me off. And you know the sad part is I'm, I'm dedicated. I listen to every fucking game, it pisses me off. Yeah, so now you know what it feels like. Yeah, I'm actually feeling like a Leaf fan. <laughs> not, not like to be that's a Leaf fan. That's what I was referring yeah. to. I'm not. I'm not a diehard like that. I'm not like trying that, to but... be a Leaf fan, but you know, I'm just saying. I know you. I'm starting to feel your guys' pain, man, for the last sixty years. <laughs> it's nice to see you guys. I, I've been actually keeping up listening to those games because I've been interested. They're they're, they're a lot more excited than listening to the Montreal games lately. Right. Right? Especially even when they lose. Even when Toronto does have that. Yeah. <laughs> even when Toronto <laughs> does have that, man. You know? So, that's the that's the funny thing. I just, uh, I don't know what's going on, man. They they can score, and then they can't, and then they don't get give up. Fucking. <laughs> Thanks, Sean Avery. <laughs> you know? like Thanks I, for that. You losers. I always have the bio, you know. Isn't this great, guys? We have sound effects back. <laughs> <laughs> sound bites in the house guys music we want to talk about a video we don't no longer have to describe it as much well, we can just be like hey check it here listen to this video <laughs> yeah, yeah listen to the video and then you have a big mute section in the middle of, right. in the middle of the youtube video. <laughs> that's true so there's gonna be certain things on the youtube video you're still not gonna be able to hear guys all you'll be able to hear is yeah. me and eco being blah 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 <laughs> So uh, we'll do our best in trying to, no, like, you know, you know what I mean, uh, If take we that watched off, that video and we talked in the middle of it, how would that go over with YouTube? What video? Let's say we watched the video on, like, now, right now, and the music was playing in the background. If it's a music video, that's not good, no. But, yeah. no, if you're not showing it on there. It's still, you can't. You can't even play. if you're talking if the through audio, the whole thing? If the audio comes off on the recording, then no. Yeah. That's how strict so, it I is. I always thought it was weird, because what about those guys that are watching, those those guys that are listening to, like, uh, you know, the guys that do the, the song reviews, and they're actually listening to the song, but they're not, they're not... Right, they're not actually, you're not listening to the song, though. They're listening to it. No, but you hear it. There's ones where you hear the song, like... Uh, you're not supposed the to. They the could song. remove your stuff, or you can get hit up for violation of whatever. But those are the guys with, like, the commercials and stuff in there, so maybe they're paying to do that maybe right yeah I don't know. I anyways so. who knows how that works. i don't know the ins and outs right this whole video aspect of it if it's there's weird. anything else we need to focus on moving it's forward the it's next. the video now because now that we got the sound stuff kind of you know uh, a little bit better than working than what we had it at or you know at least different uh then yeah that would be the next step but anyways we'll talk it's but... gonna be funny yeah in the beginning when you just look at us when we're just looking and staring at the thing when the music's playing in the beginning Right? Uh, for the oh, SoundCloud that, that wouldn't guys. be in, though. No, but for the SoundCloud, for SoundCloud it would be. What do right? you mean? It'd be in there if we're talking, wouldn't it? Why would the visuals be on SoundCloud? No, the, <laughs> as we're talking, as we're... I'm not talking about the visuals. <laughs> I said, you know, as you get the what intro song playing, like when you get the song playing, and then uh, we're, as me and you were are actually sitting there. For the YouTube, you yeah. mean? That, you that gotta, part doesn't stay. No, I know, but for the SoundCloud... If if I talk in the middle of the song, you'll hear it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, right, right. That's why you have to shut your mouth now. Well, you can also <laughs> turn the mute down. You can also hit the mute button. That's there, true. Thing, right? And we don't come through. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> well, That's I, it. I'm I freaking out, guys. Yeah. Where's the sound effects? That's, this is a conversation for off the air. Yeah, I know. I don't know where it came. I'm like, what guys, the fuck are you doing right now? I have no <laughs> idea why I, it just came from. Because we're fucking trying to figure out YouTube video. I'm trying yeah. to figure out how this... This, you know, you guys, anybody have any yeah. sort of... In People are going to be tuning out. They're be like, what is these fucking guys talk about their setup well, for half an hour? You know, <laughs> I'm trying to, well, I'm waiting for our work correspondent, man. But I don't have heard Did he ever follow up with you? No, he never followed up with me, man. Probably so went he, to sleep. He, he probably put a soother in his yeah. mouth and went yeah. to sleep. Yeah, oh no, look at the time. Yeah, he's definitely asleep. So uh, for our 50th, <laughs> hopefully we can get him on then because uh, if someone shows we're, up at the time, they, if someone shows up at the time they said they were going to, maybe we can get that going. <laughs> 
Um, so, um, I see, I saw a bunch of movies at the end of the year. I quickly wanted to touch on, just give quick, quick, like, minute reviews. It was good, it was bad. If, uh, maybe you could talk about some things maybe you watched recently, too, and comment on them. Uh, I watched the new Star Wars movie, and, uh, uh yeah, uh, <laughs> right before shit, Christmas, I watched it. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I'm actually part of the the vast minority of people that like the film. A lot of people fucking hated it. A lot of people I know didn't like it. Really? Uh, well, cl my close friends, uh, the, you know, people that, who your brother and Peter and all that, like, they, they enjoyed it. But, like, other people I had talked, I've talked to, um, didn't. Uh, there are a lot of reviewers, things I listened to, the internet, just... A Everybody lot of, become a Star Wars fan all of a sudden. No, but a lot of people hated it as well. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people thought the whole trilogy was garbage. And uh, I myself thought the second movie, the last movie, was the weakest of the three. Uh, the first, probably second. And I actually think I like this one the most, to be honest. I might, I might, I might still be kind of... You know, living off that high of seeing a new Star Wars movie in the theaters and actually having a, a right time with it. Like, I didn't pick it apart. If I'm going to sit there and pick it, pick it apart and actually point out things about it maybe I didn't like or didn't work, then yeah, sure, you can fucking... You can do that to anything and yeah. make it, like... But all I know is that I left the theater. I was happy from watching it. I, I liked the experience. I liked some of the things that occurred in the film. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thought it was fine. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good, even. I, I didn't think it was shit. Uh, I, I, a lot. I mean, apparently I'd have to go back and watch a bunch of them before I yeah. see this one. It's yeah. too much to follow up Yeah, on yeah, yeah. But like I said, I wasn't really into it. Never but really. this is the end of the story for all the old Star Wars characters. And, and, and the most important thing about this film, I thought, is the possibilities and potential that they have now moving forward. They mm -hmm. need to branch off into other stories now, just like The Mandalorian did that show that they just did on Disney Plus this past year because now they're talking about there's going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi show, there's going to be like this show, that show. They're doing other shows that are kind of more focused on different characters and if they do a new movie, they need to do the same thing. They need to do something totally separate now because all that story has ended for all the old Star Wars characters in this. Okay. Like Luke, Khan, all those people. They die? Uh, they're, uh, but, well, I'm not, for anybody who hasn't seen <laughs> them, a bunch of them died and a bunch of them just, their stories are done, right? So, like, there's no point in touching on any of those characters ever again, nor should they uh, at this point. They need to move on. Sure, this was a new movie. The problem, I think the problematic thing of this for some people was, I'll tell you, the main thing was that? Um, that they didn't develop these characters as much as they did the older characters. And going into this movie, they were trying to appease, they were trying to uh, make two fan bases happy. Not only were they they're trying to make the old fan base happy by including all the older people and bringing them back, mm -hmm. they were also trying to develop new characters. And as a result, they weren't able to focus on the new characters as much as you would have wanted them to. So, mm -hmm. so I think that it was actually a disservice to these new characters that they focus so much, somewhat, so much time on the other old characters and tried to like interweave their stories as if like one big fucking story like between six movies now nine movies if you include episode one through three but they didn't even though there was characters like obi-wan and shit that was in it Dar rise of Darth vader those characters these versions of them weren't in those films like those actors right okay. it, but still it's one big fucking story with all these fucking uh, luke and fucking han and and Darth vader and all that so now they need to get away from all of that, in my opinion. They've got to jump somewhere to the future, even past this past movie, and focus on new people. So, like, they have an opportunity right now to do some really interesting things in that universe. It's a whole fucking universe, man. Like, focus on other things. You know what I mean? Like, Mandalorian, yes, they play around with a lot of the same characters in that universe. Like, you got yeah. your bounty hunters, and you got Yoda-type creatures. But it's not those characters. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's key about it. That's not fucking Yoda. Yeah. It's like a Yoda creature, but it's not fucking Yoda. So, like, you need to do things like that. Like, stay, get away from all of those characters from those movies now. Well, if you say those characters, does that race? Of course. The that's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, no. very funny, but yeah, no, you know, you know what I mean, though, right? They yeah, need, I get what you're they need it. It's enough now. Like that's they, they jump around <laughs> back and forth, like they're gonna jump backwards again. Yeah, in, in you Picard, right? You love it's those movies. Be... Go back and watch those fucking movies. That you need to do new things, yeah. make it interesting. That's why, you know, Rogue One 
You, have, have you ever seen that? You, know, you no. said you never watched any I of them, right? Any of Rogue them. One, when it came out, everyone felt like a lot of people again hated on that film. But you, and you can spoil them all for me. Yeah, it doesn't so, matter. So I mean, because it doesn't. I, mean, and, I don't think I'm gonna be right. watching them. And I and I loved it because it was a war movie. Like it was yeah. basically about uh, a certain part that happened during the story, and and in the movie, everyone fucking died. Their war efforts were successful, though, but everyone died in the film, essentially. Like, you know the one with all those big robots? There's robots in those it. Big, but... tall ones or whatever the hell they were? The at ats No, those are in, like, other films. That, oh. but, yeah, and it, they may have been in that film. I don't know, but that, no. But this those was, big like... white ones? Yeah. Yeah, at ats yeah. Anyways, um, but, yeah, they... Um, but that's why it was interesting about it, because it was different. Yeah. They took a different approach to the film. It was like a war fucking movie. You know these people died doing like doing this stuff. Like okay. we already, they, they we already know what what the outcome of uh, of that movie was. Like like because we've watched the other films, yeah. but they kind of they fixated on one moment where they were they they never told the story of. They've only heard you've only heard about this battle in passing or like their efforts in passing, but you've never actually watched a film on it. So that's what I mean. They need to find those pockets of story and, and characters where we have never explored and kind of, you know what I mean? Like, do they that need more. To, they need to, yeah, well, they need to come up with something new. It's a different generation, yeah. too, right? I mean, you're not going to keep going back and trying to rewrite uh, prequels and sequels and, and, you know, all that kind of but stuff. But that's the problem. They keep going back they to the well because they're like, well. oh, well, the people love this character. Let's well, do fucking, let's bring... It's not easy to, to, to come up with a whole new universe to come up with a whole new set of characters it really is though man like they can I mean, literally is, make up any make fucking sense, characters it makes sense you know what i mean like look what they did with the with this whole star trek they, i mean they, they have they, endless they, fucking star tracks though endless shows have come out I know, for star it's trek all different it's all in the same time right it's yes, but the there's different. Universe. There's different captains, though. There's different crews. There's different fucking yeah, aliens. Yeah, there's, there's different, different ships out there, right. obviously. And and in the, some degree, they've done that with Star Wars, but not to the but not to the point where you would think like they've probably spanned more of a galaxy in characters in Star Trek at this point than and they it's have our in Star own Wars. Galaxy. Right. So this is so, no, but so is Star Wars. Is it? Yeah, but they don't. But you, you don't hear about Earth though. It's there's, still supposed to be like an actual like there's humans there, there, walking there's around. A, there's fucking yeah. humans, okay, but they all live on planets. Earth. I thought Earth is gone or something. Or... We've never heard about it, as far as I don't. I, I don't actually know. That's a good question. But the... whatever happened to Earth? Yeah. Where did uh, what's his name come from? Yeah, they're all living on planets. So maybe you're right. Maybe there is no Earth in that. But there's humans. So why wouldn't there be fucking Earth? That's maybe, weird, eh? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. You stumped anybody, me there. Anybody, <laughs> anybody knows why there's no planet yeah. Earth on? Or whatever happened in the movies, let, let me know. Actually, I'm gonna ask some people that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask around because that's kind of weird. I didn't know there was no. I mean, I didn't see it ever in, in any of the, the films or any of them come from there. I just figured that. Well, none of the human characters from, are from Earth in the movies. Yeah, like, you see, so, I mean, they're yeah. born on other planets. Yeah. So maybe it's just DNA from somewhere. Who knows? Man. Maybe they are destroyed because that is why everybody's at war at this point in the future. <laughs> hence, Star Wars, right? So. You know. There is a war. Yeah, that's a good point. That's, that's a good point. They're, um, they're trying to find. They're fighting for different galaxies. Another movie, very quickly. I watched uh, in theaters before Christmas or around Christmas time. You're a movie guy. Is Knives Knives Out? I watched it in theaters. This is one of those films that could have also possibly made the top five. Knives Out. Knives yeah. Out. Yeah. I've it, never heard of that one. It was one that was actually getting a lot of praise from people. It's actually by the same director that did the second Star Wars movie, which I didn't love. Uh, Ryan Johnson, I think his name is. He, yeah. um, it's uh, it was good. It was basically, um, it's like a murder mystery, like a who done it. Like uh, someone dies, mm -hmm. and there's a detective that shows up, played by, um, what the fuck is his name? Um, the guy who played the last James Bond. Uh, oh, Daniel Craig. Okay. Uh, he shows up, and he's like this detective, and he's trying to figure out, like you know, like. Uh, it's almost like like almost like Clue or something like that. You know, like someone died in the house. There's a fucking family that know like it's all very untrustworthy and everyone's like a shitty person. And then systematically through the movie, he goes through everybody, all the suspects, and he has to figure out. It's like a detective kind of crime detective kind of movie, but it's, it's it was, new or yeah, it came out in December. Yeah, it was. It's oh. uh, it's one of those movies that was getting like a you know possible a lot of uh, award uh, talk and and stuff like people a lot of performances and really good in it great cast the jamie lee curtis is in it um daniel that. craig uh fuck the black guy i always forget his fucking name shame on me maybe i'll check my stats on that the guy that's from uncut gems the guy who brought the guys to him 
who's from Atlanta, and he's in, he's the dude that's in oh, Uncut yeah, Gems, yeah, the, the black guy, the gangster. Yeah, the, the, I don't know his name. Yeah, but that guy, that actor, he's in it. He's excellent. Um, a lot of good people in it. Um, so yeah, Knives Out, that was really good. I really enjoyed it. And I really liked the ending. There was a nice message at the ending. Apparently, it did well enough that they're, they're talking about doing a spin-off movie of just the Daniel Craig detective character. So, yeah, that should be interesting. And, fi and uh, finally, another one I uh, quickly wanted to mention that I watched uh, on Netflix, actually. You should check this one out. Uh, Dolomite is My Name. I've seen with it, Eddie yeah. Murphy. Really fucking good. This is like Eddie Murphy's like return to fucking comedy uh, and movies, for, like good movies. Uh, you think, no, or you think so or no? Yes, he's been on a he's been on a run lately. He he appeared on Saturday Night Live a few weeks back for the first time ever since he's left the show. That's probably because he wanted to promote the movie. But that's what I mean. Yeah. There's the movie's out. The, he, that's what I mean. Like he's 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 doing stand up again. Apparently, he's gonna be doing stand up. He he's like he's gonna be in more movies to come. Somebody's spending too much money. Well, he was on that comedians in cars getting coffee. And it, that oh. actually sparked that that talk, I guess, with Jerry or whatever. Yeah, it seems yeah. like after they had that conversation, he may have nudged him in the direction of get, do, going back to stand-up. Because Eddie Murphy, for years after that, has fallen out with doing shitty movies, like family movies and this and that. Um, you know, he just fell off the map. He wasn't doing anything all of a sudden. And he yeah. was like one of these guys that wasn't even funny, it seemed like, anymore. He took himself very seriously. When they did that SNL, like, 50-year anniversary, 40-year, whatever, fucking, I think it was 40 years or something, they did that anniversary episode, and he came on as a guest. Okay. And he went, he wasn't even funny. Like, everybody else was doing, like, skits, and everyone was, like, making jokes. He just went on, and he thanked them, and did, like, a little speech for, like, two minutes, and then just walked off. Like, it was, like, everyone was just like, well, that was strange. Like, you know what I mean? Like People have their issues still with SNL, right? Well, he did, so because they made fun of him. Is, yeah. Years, I don't know if you know about that story. David Spade... Uh, who was on SNL during the you know 90s, the early 90s, the, yeah. you know, Adam Sandler, all those guys. He did. He was doing the news, and he made a joke about Eddie Murphy being a falling star. Like, he, he, he did some sort of news article about a falling star or something and said, oh, is that Eddie Murphy? Something along the lines of that. Don't quote me on it. But And Eddie Murphy heard that, and apparently he was very pissed off that a what? show... Because he had, he was such a legend on that show, like you know what I mean. Like he, but he's a comedian; he should understand jokes. Well, some people some people would agree with you in, in yeah, that regard, but know, he took offense to it. it. It was kind of like you know what the fuck, yeah, like I'm a founder sort of thing. Who was show. fucking David fucking Spade to be making jokes about him? Who paved the fucking way for people on that for show? Yeah. Not for everybody. Not I mean, David. obviously, like Dan Aykroyd and fucking Chevy Chase, all those guys did yeah. on that show. Bill Murray, yeah, but um, but still. He fucking did a major contribution. He was on during like the, apparently the shittiest years of SNL. Eddie Murphy came out of, like like his first the season. 80s. When they... It was the eighties, no? Yeah. Yeah, eighties is always shit years. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of shit years in the eighties. People were all coming off drugs. Yes, and exactly. Starting, starting new ones. That was actually an interesting conversation they had on the uh, on like I said that uh, that podcast I was listening to the uh, rewatchables as well. They talked about all the weird movies that were made during that period there was of time because everybody was on songs. coke. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of weird songs. Everybody was all rushed up. And then they talked about um, trying to make money. They were talking about like I said they 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 talked about The Shining and they were talking about. Um, how, you know, about the whole story about how um, Stephen King hated it and, like, you know, he was very public about it. And, you know, the St Shining apparently was very close to Stephen King, which I didn't know until I heard this interview uh, why it was so significant for Stephen King is that he based it almost on his life because the frustrated writer, Jack Nicholson, in the movie, yeah. who basically drives himself mad, like, in that house yeah. uh, because, you know, the ghosts and all that shit are in there. Um He's he had writer's block, if you recall, at the start of the movie, and that's why he was so frustrated going there. And uh, that's that was basically Stephen King. He said he was coming off of uh, getting out of alcoholism, like he he, he had quit well, drinking. He had a rough time, too, right. right? So that's why he's struggling yeah, with touch. drinking. That's why he Jack Nicholson character he was struggling with drinking in the movie, uh, you know, in the book, yeah. the actual Shining, which is much different than the movie apparently. And uh, and also because of the frustration of like being a writer. Drink. I mean, he shows you that he's in a bar, right? So, but it doesn't show you uh, without those dead people. But it doesn't really show you that he's uh, having problems drinking in The Shining, the actual movie. I think that's, it? but I think that's why. Well, no, there's some scenes with him drinking and dying for a, a drink, and he, yeah, like you said, he's at the bar. He's at the bar with But I think, there. but that's why Stephen King had mostly a problem with because yeah. it was based off his his kind of experiences, and he felt that Jack Nicholson didn't represent that well, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, but Dolomite is my name. Really fucking good, guys. Check it out. It was a very nice, endearing movie. 
and it was cool because it's about uh, some guy during like black exploitation era. It's about a guy who who was trying to make something of himself. Started with stand up, did some music, and then kind of fell into doing this character, this Dolomite character, and that was the start of the, he he went and they, he made a movie with his friends. Sure. So it's like as a creative person, like you know, even like us, if you want to call us that, by doing mm -hmm. this kind of thing that we do and just being interested in kind of making something happen, yeah, it's very inspiring. It's a very inspiring film because it's about a bunch a guy who had who invested in himself. He put all the money that he had made uh, by making up this character and doing stand up and and selling records of this Dolomite stand up that he did. You know, mm -hmm. this is around the time where they had dirty records going around of stand ups and stuff like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, when you really couldn't play them anywhere. No, exactly, they, they, party they, records or whatever they used swear, to call them, right? Because they had swear words and stuff. Right. And like fucking really? right. Now you could say it anywhere. Yeah. So right. So at that point, it was kind of the start of that. Yeah. So he made all his money doing that, and he put all that money and went into debt for the fucking record company, even for them to invest in this movie, and he mm -hmm. invested himself and everyone laughed at him he's like you don't know the first thing about making movies and then he fucking he scouted out an area he got yeah. some like some film student guys he, yeah. he got some washed up actor that has had some previous success he found him somewhere and like he basically just brought everybody together and they made this fucking film and of course it was kind of funny and badly done and stuff but that was like you know some of the heart that, that that people actually loved about it right and 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 it was it was the start of like at the time like where black exploitation films were popular the shaft and all this kind of stuff right like you know yeah, those type yeah. of movies and apparently he went on to have success with this film and they did like several other fucking films after that so it was just like a really inspiring and nice movie like to see somebody succeed and like invest in themselves and believe in themselves and it was based on the true story rudy ray moore is the uh, character that um that is based on and uh, eddie murphy plays him in the film really great you, you remember all the names yeah yeah, anyway, yeah. Like, you're pretty good yeah you so but, uh, i i've only been knowing about all these new all the new tv shows and stuff that are starting to come out again right i mean all the new series you, you're always on, on top of the uh the movies i seem to get in, caught up in all these new television shows and all these new series is coming back out and uh, new seasons and stuff like that so those are the things i've been following though. those yeah, are the things i keep watching you're right? saying you watch the new season of you yeah that one i killed that one in well, i don't know two days not even that was easy to watch right mm -hmm. i mean there's, there's there's still 40 minute episodes but it was really good and they're already talking about a season three but they're talking already 2021 that'll be ready for us so you gotta wait a whole year now yeah. For that. But uh, there was that one. There's a there's a few that started again. I watched some cheap ones that are on like not cheap ones, but people would think were corny ones on the on the regular television. Like um, you know, uh, New Amsterdam is a good one. I watched The Good Doctor. I watched that came back out. Yeah. The doctor's always. Yeah, you've talked about that a few times on the yeah, show. So yeah. So I've, I've I've continued watching that. I, that's what I've been following up on lately, and I'm waiting for season two of Sex Education's coming out on Friday. I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's coming out this Friday. That's the one with... Messina, uh, right? Is that the one? I don't know their names. No, but... Uh, the, the actress that plays her... Who's a sex therapist? The oh, Jillian Anderson from X-Files. That's it's who the it is. mother, yeah. yeah. She's the mother and that's she's Zena. the teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jilly, poor, poor that's guy. what it is, though, right? Jillian, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's her name, but yeah. The one from X-Files. Scully. Isn't that her in that show? I don't think so, dude. No. Is I it not her? So. Is no. it Zena then? It's one of those women no. that was on a show from, like, the 90s or no, something. Oh, I see what it is. I... I, I uh, I don't know exactly. I, I, there it is. It's a British comedy, dude. So I don't think it would be the X Files broad. Okay. Uh, broad, sorry, girl. <laughs> See, these ones. Emma McKay and the mother. I don't know who the mother. Which one the mother is right now? This one here. Julian Anderson. I just fucking said that. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's it looked like her, dude. It didn't look like Fucking her. She's blind. <laughs> That's what threw me off. And she looks older now. Like, she doesn't look... Uh, I don't know if it's her, Deeks. Let me just check. It's <laughs> telling you that. <laughs> That's okay. No, that's fine. No. I could have been, I wasn't sure either. That's why I'm no, asking. No, but I mean, yeah. it doesn't look like her in the actual... Like, she's got short hair. It, it does, it, that really threw me off. That was a surprise, guy. I, I didn't know it was Scully. It's Scully. But she's fucking she's hilarious, hot, man. But she's fucking funny. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Oh, that TV, that's another one. I'll watch that on the weekend. I'll, I'll probably did watch you, all the Did you episodes. ever watch that, um, what the fuck was it called? The Hannibal Show, dude. Did you ever watch that? Oh, I watched that. I've, wa oh. I've watched that. We yeah. weren't talking like we do now, though, when you, that show was no, out. That's no, what I mean. No. Like, that's I mean, why. It's been a long, it's been a quite great a while. Great fucking so, show. Yeah, me and my old man. She was on that, too. too. 
Yeah, but not as much, no? Yeah, she was in it. Yeah? Yeah, she was in it. She was his See, therapist. Maybe, she was, she was the maybe therapist. I'm so used to looking looking at her as, as Scully. I, I think she was in my spank bank as Scully back she's a, in the day. She's a good-looking woman. Yeah, yeah she's, she's hot and Hannibal, yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now maybe I am remembering She was his therapist. Hannibal. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Yeah. Yeah, and she was very calm and very, you know, like, but yeah, I remember who it is now, yeah. And oh, yeah. You know what sucked is that show never came back out again. No, it was three seasons, and, and they ended it. it. And that fucking pissed it, me off. You know, it struggled, actually, with an audience, that show, surprisingly. Because you had to be somewhat intelligent to fucking yes. understand, it, yes. understand it. It was great, though. You know? Like, yeah. That was a great. Show. I don't like to say. I, I guess people are trying to wonder if I'm somewhat intelligent, but I, yes, I understood the whole fucking show. I do watch kind of psychological like, fuck. Yeah, shows they could have. I'm good. They could have did one more season. Mm -hmm. That would have been fine. I would have been in for one more season. I don't think they should have so overdid it. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I, I feel when they when they rush it too much when they do only three seasons. Like, uh, like I always said with Gotham, and that one I just thought it cancellation was, was always looming though. That was, stuff, that was the bullshit. problem for that show. Like I just never found an audience. I feel like it just probably like, which, not. Like because it's fucked up stuff, people, right? right? Like yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, and it's been during the time frame when everything was changing over from, from cable to streaming. And yeah, it, it, it was, was ahead of its time, kind of a little bit. It was yeah, a real yeah, mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if it would have, if it would have been on, Netflix it would have been a Netflix show today. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It been on Netflix that was a or that was a cable network show. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so I don't. I think it would have been a really good show. That's a good point. I think it would, they would have done a better job. By, yeah, I don't know. know. I, I seen someone commenting on social media about it the other I day, like and I'm like, that was a really great. What's the actor's name? The guy. The guy plays Hannibal. Yeah, I don't know his name. He's excellent, though. Yeah, he plays a good part. He's excellent. He He's been great in something. A I lot of things. He was a wrestler of some sort. Right? No, like no, 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 no. Some sort, but no, I don't know. No. He's great. But I. I oh, can't. um. Look at him. Let's see if we can dig it out of that file in there. And it, he's doing this in his head. It's not even. On <laughs> it's true. I am doing it in my head. I know his, his fucking head. name. Uh, I don't know what. Off the top, I can picture what he looks like, but I just don't know what he looks like. Yeah. Uh, he looks like the Thor guy, but with short hair. <laughs> but yeah, no, that that was a good show. That was a while back, but. Right, and there's all, there's been like a lot of series. There he is. Uh, what the hell's his name? I don't know. Lee Danson? No, no, that's not him. You sure? Yeah. Mads Mikkelsen, that's his name. Mads M Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen? Yeah, Mikkelsen or, or whatever. Something. Yeah, Mads. That's him. That's his name. That's why I knew it was a unique uh, name. They, but... They're they're really good shows, and they, Netflix has got a lot of them coming out now. I I guess because they got to try to keep up with everybody now. Yeah. This is not a joke anymore, man. Disney's been took over. Well, competing now. They got they Apple TV now competing. In, yeah, but right, they don't. Well. I mean, the, the thing is, is that Disney hasn't come out with anything but the stuff that you've already seen in some in the what the Mandalorian really. Yeah, you know it, it sucks because right? I even I got the subscription right now and you're probably not going to see anything almost into a year into this. It seems yeah, like yeah, you're going to have to rewatch all the all stuff. the Marvel shows are filming moving into the summer. So uh, like next year, well, I think a year into this, Disney's going to be fucking really hot. So you have all the Marvel stuff on there now. Not the Netflix stuff. So that stuff's still there. I mean, as far as I know, it might. There's not much on Netflix anymore. So right now in Disney, all the movies are on there, but the shows aren't on there yet. They probably will be, but there's been no Marvel shows that yet. There, there's they, no more on Netflix. They taken them off finally. Yeah, yeah. they taken them off. Okay, right. so they must be on on Disney then. I haven't watched any of them though, uh -huh. but but all there's gonna be a whole bunch of new Marvel shows on Netflix. Like the only things that are left are DC stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that they could still play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On there, like the Batman. They removed still... Daredevil and all that. I thought I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost hundred percent. I was told sure they were going to when Disney like, Plus launched. Yeah, name, name, a, name a, a, a song. I name a song. Name uh Daredevil, Jessica that, Jones, any of those. And that one was for sure on there. On Netflix, because yeah. I know, I know uh, what was it called? It came off of here. Um, the Marvel movies did. I know that because the, the movies are on. No, there the was on there. I told I you so. the shows are still there. The movies are now on uh, oh, Disney. Yeah, Punisher, all the the shows are the shows are still there. The movies aren't. Oh, okay. So the movies. All... So right yeah, now they that's have. That's why they got Titans on here. So right now all the move. Well, Titans is DC. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. So all the Marvel movies are 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 on Disney Plus now. But the actual shows that they did on Netflix originally are still there. Probably still only a certain point in time. Because but... I was wondering too, because they used to have. Uh... Remember I told you about the new one there, Marvel's Runaway. That's the one I've been 
following up with i've been trying to catch up on because yeah. i like it i really do I, I think it's a good show i like the comic i heard the show wasn't good you like it i liked it so okay. far i mean not this year this i'm season, hearing that from people who are fans of the comic though this so. season they've gone through puberty yeah. everybody and it's like so they 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 don't look the same they've, they've changed a lot. right you know once you get to a certain age right you don't look the same as an actor an actress or whatever um but uh, it, it was good. It was on Amazon Prime, I remember, originally, right, to start. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen it on there since, so I was wondering if it had gone over. But it's not... I don't think... I think it's PG-13. Like, I think Mar uh, the Disney Channel is still kind of walking that line with the PG stuff. You know what Disney. I mean? Yeah, I know, yeah, They yeah. need to have something else to yeah. outsource all the rest of the good things. Like, yeah. I mean, you're going to have a lot of good shows, a lot of good movies that Disney has. That they can't put on the actual Disney Channel because it's. I really hear what you're saying. It's not as wholesome as it used to be, but they definitely still do protect their name in that regard. But um, uh, I mean, you hear like swearing in, in most stuff. You hear swearing yeah. in, in the Family Guy. Yeah, now you know. Disney it. movies you, have some swearing. If you and... watch The Simpsons and if you watch the thing on Netflix, uh, Family Guy and all those things, whenever they were on there, if you read the subtitles, they have. You can catch a swear word here and there. Yeah, sure. It's there. Yeah. It's just they don't, you know, you don't hear it yeah. that much on television. It even doesn't, you doesn't clue in. It doesn't register. They throw yeah. them in there, so it doesn't register in the brain. It's just like it becomes a it becomes part of the joke or whatever it is. Right. So you don't even think of it as a bad word. Right. I mean, you're not even, they're not even directing it towards anybody. They're just making a joke. Right. And we don't, you know, Peter will get hurt or something, and it'll he'll scream and he'll swear sometimes. I'm not a huge Family Guy fan. I don't know. I, no, even South Park does it, dude. I love South Park. Well, South Park swears all the time. Oh, yeah, of course. It's South right? Park. <laughs> but, yeah, but you, it's, it's on cable television, though. Yeah. So you would think it's... You, it wouldn't it's it's swearing, on Comedy right? Central, though, and it's when it's it plays. Later on, it plays yeah. late. And it's, it's but they, they have different. it everywhere. I mean, they, and now you can get it... Where is it? On, uh, on Netflix? or no? Swearing I, isn't as bad in the grand scheme of things anymore to people. It's no. really just... It's all the racial stuff. It's all the... It's all the offending it's people. Everything with like, it's everything yeah, else. It's everything else. sexism. You know, you couldn't swear before, so now... now I still haven't watched that Ricky Gervais fucking uh, words. I haven't recorded it. I have it on I my can, TV. I got I it. I mean, watch it's, it. On, it's on even Amazon Prime, dude. Honestly, though, to kudos it. to him, because, like, I love how he does not give a damn, and even after the show, I've seen him tweet, making some tweets about yeah. the people that were... That, yeah, yeah. that have no sense of humor, that didn't get... He was joking. He was making fucking jokes. That's what he does. He, he the things he says, you should not take literally. Apparently, people... Again... But he, he looks so serious when he says... But things. that's that's, that's his problem, style. Right? Like, that's what I mean. People don't understand. And I get it. I'm not a fan of everything the man has done, but I actually like a lot of the stuff he's well, done. People we'll, talked about Afterlife. Yeah. yeah, excellent. But it was a dark fucking show. It like, was I remember, funny, yeah. though, but, but at that's the same what, time. But I described... Okay, so after the award show, I was actually speaking to a co-worker about this. Okay. And I described... Because we were talking about this, and she says she likes that he did it, but at the same time, he, she doesn't like... You know, doesn't find him all that funny, but she, it's kind of, she thought it was funny, like, him going out and insulting people on the show because, you know, they're all vain and very full of themselves yeah. and this and that. But at the same time, she could she got it. She got it both ways. She could understand why people wouldn't like it. Yeah. She doesn't find him all that funny all the time. So, so then I said to her, I'm like, oh, I actually really like a lot of the stuff he's done. I get where you're coming from because he's not my favorite comedian or by, far from it, but... I like a lot of the stuff he's done. Actually, he's done some good things. And I'm like, did you watch the show he just did uh, this past year called Afterlife? And I described the premise to her, and she was just like, that doesn't sound good at all. And I was just like, I'm like, I know, it's really dark, right? I'm like, but it was good. I'm like, it was really, because I told her, like, the whole show, he's trying to kill himself, and people around him are but trying to basically convince him, like, not to, and, and they have yeah, things man. to live for, and he had to fucking find that out for himself, right? Like. Yeah. But and she's I she's like, I I loved it. I bro, I was on vacation when I watched it. I was on vacation somewhere and I see it on Netflix one night. I'm, like, I'm just throw this on. It was only like remember like six episodes, half hour or something yeah, like that. It was nothing crazy. Me and Christina ended up watching the whole thing that evening when I was on vacation. I was just like, <laughs> like who wants to watch that fucking well, thing on vacation? Because you know, like, people don't know how they would react when it comes to that. When they see it, when they see something the way he did it, there, and the way, even the way he tells his, the way he makes his comedy. People don't know how to react to Very it uncomfortable, like, his comedy. Yeah, it's very, very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Uncomfortable topics, uncomfortable, like, to the point like, where, like, you're, like... You're like, oh, that guy, he's horrible. Like, he's such a... That's why, like, the original Michael Scott well, you don't know from The Office... you because you don't know if the person next to you is right. offended hey, or not, hey, right? The, so. the original Michael Scott, like, before they did the U.S. office, yeah. is way worse than the fucking Michael Scott on The Office. Like, he's just, like... Because yeah. he, he was, again, he offended people. He he was uh, very uncomfortable. He's such a fucking loser that you feel bad for the fucking guy. But he's so... 
you suck. Like he comes off so horribly. Yeah, yeah. How can you feel sorry for this fucking guy? Like, funny, but that's but that's but that's what's that's what I mean. He finds this pocket of in between. Uh, uh, yeah, and he and when he when he when that hits, he excels at that kind of tone. Like oh, nobody yeah, else, sure. nobody else kind of does it. And I've heard him talk about it before. He kind of he had said he he likes to have real people. Like he wants people to feel like these are real people. Like this is real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like real situations, and like he wants to find the funniness in life and the uncomfortable moments that people experience you know what i mean so that's really hard to do because you can go one way or you can go the other yeah. you know what i mean you're not going to be yeah, a people pleaser for everybody yeah. exactly so and even me some of the things i've watched he did that Derek show didn't like it no. uh, did you watch any no. of it i wasn't a fan that was another netflix show he did and he was kind of like um uh, what do you call it? Like special needs, kind of like he had like some sort of uh, I don't know if he had Down syndrome. He had some sort. I can't remember. He had some sort of issue with him. Or yeah, and yeah, he plays yeah. that character, and I didn't like it. Kind of like I feel sorry for people that have you know what I mean. So like for me, even like uh, he wasn't well, making fun of it though. He wasn't making fun of it, but it was like he was a character like that, and he had to play it up. And I just didn't find it enjoyable to watch a character like that. Well, in a that's show. what I mean. You know I mean? Like, even there's a show, even that show, The Good Doctor. I find it hard I, I, to relate. I understand it? I don't. It's it's hard to relate. Yeah. But I can understand now. The, the acting is is so good that I can understand where you should feel for them because, like, you can see how you can actually see it. and the way the if you're a good actor and that kid there, I forget his name there that played Norman's. Uh, he played Bates, remember? Uh, yeah, he's Bates yeah Motel? he's good, yeah. But he he uh, he plays that character so well it makes you feel and then understand for a little bit. And they play I don't know I, I, he he I must have done some heavy research. I don't know. How I can see you, that guy doing that. Yeah, I don't know yeah. How you you can pull off that part yeah. and play that role because he's been actually you know freaking out like you know people when they have some some people when they have autism and they start hitting themselves. And but that's what I mean. That, like if, if you approach that the wrong way as an actor, you do a real disservice to anybody. Like that, it's just like yeah. in Tropic Thunder, where he's like, <laughs> he's, he makes the retard. He's like, you can't go, you can't go, you full retard. Like, no. <laughs> and excuse me if you're offended by me using that word, everybody. But you know, and if you ever watch Tropic Thunder, he he states that in there. You don't want to go 100 percent with it because then you come <laughs> off ridiculous as an actor. You oversell yourself, right? Like it's no one can act like like that good. Like you know that what I mean? Happens, that's yeah. what I mean. So 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 to do that, you, you like and and that's what I mean. Ricky, maybe that's what it was. Ricky Gervais isn't an excellent actor. So like for and, and, and for him to play a role like that, yeah, yeah, I people kinda, were like throwing it off and going, how how do you do that? But yeah, I think yeah. this kid is a good actor, and and for him, he was he makes it really believable. He makes you understand sort of what they're going through and people around them too and, and, and how they can relate. Like, he's in a relationship now. Yeah. And he's in with a girl that actually wants to be in a relationship with him and under, is trying to understand them, you know? Yeah. It's a really good show, man. I, I, you know, people might think it's corny and this and that, but if you actually sit back and give it a chance, it, it's. I think it's something that everybody would like. Mm. I, even, I think you'd like it too I don't it's watch a lot different. of network TV like that well, no, I don't know I, I'm not really invested in shows like that to be honest with you well yeah. they come out once a week not to say yeah, that I wouldn't I like it I watch so many different shows I don't like procedurals that... that's the problem I don't like crime procedural shows I don't like medical procedural shows cause I, so I probably wouldn't like this Like, I, I love it, the only man. show I, I was like really into that. at one point like that was House I liked House for the first little bit like I really liked it back in the day yeah. and then I got bored of that as well like I just like I feel like they they play on like too like they, they, you say like if I feel like they they they're all kind of the same. That's that's what I mean. Procedurals. That's well, what I mean by like yeah, like like the, it's the same, the same thing. Oh, what's the case today, House? Oh, this happened, and by the end of it, everything's resolved, and like they can move on to the next one, right? But like if it's done really well. Same with those crime really, shows. No, those can be very enjoyable. People eat them up. Yeah, because well, some of them can that one procedure thingy uh, like uh, could take three or four episodes long, you know, and yeah. it can get you really invested into that that character that that's, that's happening to and whatever and then all of a sudden boom they die or something like that you know i mean it's good it's good to watch yeah because it's, it's, it's a little bit of drama no listen i get why people like them yeah, i just don't thriller, i'm just not really once, yeah and like you know i don't have much time like like yeah. personal time to myself so i don't like to waste it on fucking you know 20 something like episodes comedy, of the same but fucking I, don't, thing. <laughs> I can't sit there and i mean i need a story to progress you know yeah, what i mean like i yeah. can't have the whole thing comedy 
Yeah, like, that's another. You have our likes and dislikes. I, that's I, what I mean. Like I like a lot I don't of comedy. If I can have the whole thing like comedy from the beginning to end. Yeah. I mean, I like it once in a while. It's it's good. It's fresh. You need drama. You know, it's. <laughs> I even <laughs> even the, the only thing I like when they're they're comedy are the cartoon stuff that yeah. come out, right? And certain things like sure. that, or certain actors that we that we like that are comedic. Right. Com- uh, they're comedians, but they don't necessarily have to play a comedic role. They can play half and half, which I like too, right? But, yeah. yeah, like Uncut Gems, like Adam Sandler. That was interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, well, I don't know. With that being said, I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to say. We fucking talked about fuck all, I feel, this episode, yeah, guys. Yeah, right, we did. We, we're, we're kind of testing out this microphone. Exactly. So, so, if too, we're, so if we didn't... It's throwing me off. If we didn't hit on enough topics for you guys, like our usual kind People of show... a lot of stuff opened up. We'll be yeah. back, though, <laughs> in, in full gear next episode for our 50th fucking episode, yeah, right? we'll right? be ready for that one. Yeah. Don't you worry. Um, so, this was, like I said, this was, our, this was our trial run for the new setup. So, that was our main focus for this one. Not so much the topics today. We hear our voice. We didn't we didn't prepare as much on this one and uh <laughs> you can actually hold on and move the mics too now and you have a way back playback for the guys at uh everyone at home or um one off the top of your head you want to throw out there or oh, shall fuck, I man, I had one the other day too, didn't I? Say yeah, you had you day? said you had one geared up, but I don't think he sent it to me. Fuck me, man. Sideways. No, I, I what the fuck was it? I I can't remember, dude, off the top of my head. I I I heard it on my fucking songs. I, I just can't remember what it was. Thanks. Maybe we'll have to... Not a problem. I'll pull one up. I'll pull one up. Got here. Yeah, so the last one I brought up actually was the... Uh, at the time, you couldn't tell you guys what it was because I wasn't sure which one I was going to put on, but it turned out yeah. to be um, my song. Uh, it was the uh, uh, Not Afraid remix I did of uh, the Not Afraid beat. And, yeah. and when I re-listened to it, when I actually put it on the last episode... This is a song that I put on in the last uh, at the end of the last uh, episode, guys. Way back, playback was actually me rapping back in the day. It was actually about ten years ago, so it was at the start of the decade, Jay, when I recorded that, and we okay. were kind of at the end of the decade, moving into the new year at that point for the last episode. So it actually made sense that I actually played that. I didn't choose it for that purpose, but yeah. it was kind of interesting hearing it. And at the time, I was frustrated because of maybe the way I didn't feel I was being well received by, you know what I mean? Like people that were close to me at the time, that was the point. If you listen to the song of the not afraid, uh, I was saying, I was not afraid to continue trying to do this, try this thing, this rap thing. Right. Of course that didn't, that <laughs> after that, I think I did completely give it up. You know, it's yeah. very, very self-conscious of myself and, 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 uh, doing something like that, you know, you gotta be really, uh, you gotta like like I said, invest in yourself just like Dolomite did in that movie. You gotta you gotta be really into yourself. You gotta be really you know what I mean. And and yeah. getting some bad feedback at the start can uh, can you know ruin uh, someone's uh, dreams like that, right? So, um, big time. Yeah. So it's hard to. Uh, so it was interesting that I talked about on the last episode. I kind of wanted to maybe try take a stab at actually recording like a like a project and doing something. And then I put that song on and kind of all kind of came full circle, right? A decade later, right? So it's interesting. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it was very interesting. So that was uh, <laughs> not planned out. <laughs> you didn't realize it. Though. Yeah. But you see, stuff happens. Not even if you don't. His fucking head works in a weird way. All right. So this Let's is. See you can find here. You and your old oldies for goodies. Come on, Eeks. Yeah. So I'm gonna I, put I, on I Red Man. I, I, I think it had something to do with Red Man. In a he song. just put out actually a new video and song. I forgot the name yeah. of it. Eminem just shouted it out on his uh, his uh, yeah, Twitter the other day. Um, check that out. Maybe I I, we can talk about it next episode if I once I check it out again. He has a, a apparently a hilarious video and song um, out. I, I, I forgot what it's called. Beat the shit out of you or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying to find it here. Yeah, Eminem put it on his Twitter if you follow him or on Instagram or something. So, um, so maybe you can go check that out and figure that out for us. But uh, speaking of Red Man and Eminem, who's always speaking very highly of him. Uh, my way back playback is going to be Redman and Eminem off the wall. This was actually on the um, Nutty Professor soundtrack, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Speaking of Eddie Murphy, um, that, that's weird, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that I think it was it was first released on that soundtrack, and this is an Eminem song featuring Redman, and uh, and this song is sick. Like I I. I I mean I'm a big Redman fan, but not like you know not I don't know all his deep cut fucking songs. I've never like you know listened to all his albums, but I, I'm a fan of him and his style of rapping and and getting these two guys on a song together and, and Eminem being such a big fan of Redman, it was it's pretty awesome. What is this? 
That's the one. Slap the shit out you. Slap the shit out you. Yeah, so I said beat the fuck out of you or something. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Off slap the shit. So, off an EP. so check that out. It's apparently a really good song and a, and a funny video. Um, he was saying, and knowing Redman, I'm sure it is a really funny video. So yeah, I'm gonna check that out as well. So maybe we'll talk about it next episode. Yeah, hey, I'll just download it right now. Yeah. So all right. So without further ado, though, thanks everybody for tuning in again. We'll see you next week. Uh, episode 50 and this is five zero <laughs> this is uh eminem featuring red men off the off the wall off the wall <laughs> the wall <laughs> says duh later guys duh. <laughs> peace out